Good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is going to be for Cancer. This is going to be week two for Cancer. Week two. Some song just came to my head and I can't think about it. I, I love you twice. And I'm not even getting the right beat sound, guys. Sorry. I can't even tell if it's a duo. Um, we want it twice. I can't, I'm not even singing it right. I don't know if it's a guy or a girl, to be honest with you. It's probably a duo. If it comes to me. Where's my phone? I want it twice. I'd be shocked. If it even pops up that way. I want it twice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want you back twice. Quiet for me, but mm. I want it twice. Girl. Okay, so a guy sings that. Oh. I want it twice. Fuck. I don't know. Maybe there's something with Japan with you guys. It's all like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright. You know what? I'm going to call Mash real quick. I feel like you need to know what song this is. Hey, real quick, I'm like singing um, a song in my head and I can't think of it. I think it's a guy that's singing it. It's like, mm, I want it twice. Yeah. I want it twice. Girl, girl. That's all I got. <laughs> I know it's not enough. Oh, man, I want it twice, mm -hmm, girl. Oh, fuck. All right, well, if I think about it, I'll let you know. I want to say, like, not like Ja Rule, but, like, a singer like that. I want, girl, I want it twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I'm not trying to rap right now. He's, he's singing. Girl, I want it twice. Trey Song. Um, ooh, I think you're onto something. I'm thinking of like, you know, not rappers but singers, but like. Trey Song remix. Let me see if I can do. I want it twice. Yeah, lyrics. I want it twice. I can't think of what that is Would from. Be right. Trey Song, I want it twice. Is that Kevin Gates, say it twice? Kevin Gates, yeah. That could be it. Really? Hold on, let me let me try. I don't know. I don't know either. Alright. Okay. Right. Love you, bye. Alright, let's see if this is it. Or maybe by her saying it's not enough is your message. Nope, that's not it. That's, yeah, no, that's definitely not it. But... No, that's not it. Okay, so... I want to say... It could be... Um, it does actually sound like, like a Trey song, though. Alright y'all, I don't know, but she's like, we were laughing, she's like, it's not enough, and I just did this for four minutes, I'm so sorry, but it, it's important, so, girl, I want it twice, so I don't know what that's about, if you know, please comment, and I will look, um, but she was dying laughing. She's like, girl, that's not enough. So maybe that's the point. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. So. 
Cancer, week two. Worth waiting for when true love came out. All right, so current energy Cancer. Hi, Sheldon. He's up and at it early. Ugh, ugh, ugh. What he or she is feeling. You got soulmate very soon. Well, calling in your soulmate very soon. One more for what he or she is feeling. Let your friends help you. See, this is a, this is lit. This came out in a read yesterday. These are my two cards. These are the worst two cards in the deck. Let your friends help you in wedding. Okay, what you don't see coming. Got a soulmate, let yourself free. What you don't see coming. And for my newbies, I, I read these cards the way I read these cards. Okay. Um, and I actually said the same message in whatever situation. See, it's it's right. It Mash is right. It's it's not enough. Unrequited love, wedding, that's 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 cheating, it's deceptiveness, it's one-sided situationship, you know, it's like, but yet you're calling in someone else because you don't want to deal with what's in front of you and then let your friends help you. But see, this is what somebody else is thinking. So it could be whoever you're partnered with. It is, it's, that's, that's your message. Possible outcome. That's the title of your of your um, video. It's, it's not enough. It's just that simple. Unfortunately. It is what it is. I haven't seen... Um, this is not... This just this is not great, guys. Sorry. And then possible outcome getting to know each other. So that means somebody else is in the picture. Past. Past energy. Whether this was two years ago, two days ago, two hours ago bottom of the deck let go of control issues all right so there's there's separation you know um this is not a honeymoon okay um this i always read this card as separation so you're in a tough predicament let me throw you a lesson card whatever this is it's not an it's not enough you know it's not enough <laughs> I mean, yeah. Whew. I'm a cancer and I'm not even in this energy. This is not even me. Where am I this week? Where am I? You got doubt. Okay. I release the need to know all answers. So somebody's doubting a situation clear as day. All right. You got pride at the bottom of the deck. Um, I just got wicked anxiety. So, there's that. Um, yeah. So, this is, this is not good. There's distance between some type of partnership here. Um, to me, it's like this is how somebody else feels. So, someone thinks you're being shady as shit. Um... And it, but it's like calling in your soulmate. It's like, what? what is this? To me, they're not calling you in. This this isn't enough. This is a one-sided... Someone's in a relationship. If it's not a legal marriage, it's a long-term situation. You have kids. It's, it's, it's some type of legal partnership, regardless. Okay? And it's it's one-sided. It's, it's not enough. I can't express that enough. And honeymoon in the past, recent past, it's, it's like separation. So I don't know if this separated, somebody came in between, or you're dealing with this. Because it's like getting to know each other. This is somebody brand new. So I don't know if somebody new is about to come into your life to kind of shed light on a situation that you're in currently. But, you know, I just split the deck of Empress in the world. That's, that's done. Unless you want a new chapter. I want it twice. I mean, yeah, I don't know the song, and I'm, I'm telling you right now, I know that song's, like, relevant, but I think Marsha's message is more relevant. Like, girlfriend, it's not enough. And she's, she's, she's dead on 
with that message for you guys. It could be Trey Song though. I don't know. All right, tell me about wedding. Wedding, wedding, wedding. Oh, that's your challenge. Ace of Cups. So I don't know if there's somebody else in the picture, okay? So it's like wanting a new love, you know, wanting to experience new love, but um, clearly you're in a legal situation that you are not happy with at all. Wow, Queen of Cups reversed. I put these all upright, okay? Um, so somebody's really emotional. I don't know if you're dealing with two people here, but like this is all about intuition, all right, somebody is like extremely bent out of shape here. And this could also be somebody's married, but there was an opportunity for love and you could be dealing with a cancer. So this is this is you guys dealing with somebody who's married or in some type of commitment because this is what you wanted. And now it looks like you're probably heading in a new direction. I can definitely read this in different ways. <clears throat> the person you're dealing with okay so someone's not talking first of all and I don't ever do this but let me just ask spirit something no oh, see yeah this is this is rough. This is like two different people. Who had this last week? I think Aries or Leo or Sag. Like all the fire was caught up in something like this. <clears throat> You're dealing with someone who's highly intuitive and knows what's going on. I don't think there's a hidden marriage at all by any means. But... No. <sighs> Goodness gracious. Tell me about this high priestess. I want to see something real quick. Key with the heart, welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting to know each other, getting together. Kisses, unconditionally loving, giving, affectionate, falling in love. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. So this is basically somebody who's married and wants a new start with somebody, but is worried about bending, bending, um, hurting somebody else, being lighthearted, finding out things come to light, adapt to change. Yeah, see, so this is, this is somebody who's in a sticky situation. Okay. So, and then it's like transitioning obstacles, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. So this is somebody who is married that wants to be with someone else, wants a new start with somebody else, wants love, wants to, wants something more solid, but is still in a sticky situation. There's, there's a family dynamic here. Tell me about this Queen of Cups real quick. Yeah, see, hurt. Tell me about the high priestess. So you could be dealing with somebody spiritual. Yeah, see, there's that love. There's definitely, but she's bent out of shape or he or she is aware of your past. Yeah, see, he or she is about to put boundaries up. There's no question. Okay. So let's go into the current past real quick. So somebody wants out of a situation but is not getting out of a situation and there's mutual love between, you know, someone who's extremely intuitive. And if this is all one person, um, <clears throat> she's, she's hurt. Extremely hurt. But you wouldn't have had, you wouldn't have had the, the five of cups for the high priestess because the five of cups is past. And the high priestess and somebody who's in some type of legal situation is legally binded contract with somebody, but there's mutual love, 
right? So, but yet there's this energy is not doing anything right this second. But this is, it's, it's beautiful, you know, um, probably doesn't feel that way right now. But it's like unconditionally loving, you know, give and receive and affection, meeting the one, opening your heart, coming together. It's like key to your heart, you know, but yet this one still needs to find out. Being lighthearted, finding out things come to light, adapt, change, heal, ascending. Because somebody else wants something else. They want, they want love. They want emotional stability. But you obviously have an energy that's worried about hurting somebody else. But yet you have something pure and true here. So, gosh. For those that are new and you're just watching this week, you might want to go check out Aries last week because that was the same shit. This could be a spiritual teacher, a healer, someone extremely intuitive, extremely knows her value, knows her worth. It's, it's true. All right, let's find out about the recent past. Two years ago, two weeks ago, two hours ago. You got the Emperor and the Three of Wands. So this is somebody who can foresee the future too, but is not doing anything about it with the Ten of Wands. This is, hey, your ships are here. It's right in front of you. You see it clearly, but not, not doing anything. The emperor is probably the husband. There was probably a separation here. And in the midst of the separation, somebody else came in. It could just be a spiritual lesson too. Okay. Um, and if they're not legally married, they're still somehow binded. Not bound, but binded. So chances are kids, business, something. And and mind you, there's there's no love. It's it's one sided. The the true love, the pure love, the is just. I want to say stuck, but not stuck. I, I don't know. We didn't get that far yet. But the high priestess wouldn't stay stuck. The, there's no way. It's not a thing. So it looks like there was a separation. But this is also keeping somebody at bay, making somebody wait, why they decide, why they figure things out. Yeah, see, this energy was giving to too many people. So not good. Not good at all. Bottom of the deck, you have, you know, let go of control issues. So I don't know if someone tried to control a situation. An emperor does have that energy. So calling in your soulmate. So this could be somebody else that you're dealing with that's just like, you know what? I I want more. This, is, this isn't enough. Right? Feeling like something shady as shit. You know, stressed out but yet not doing nothing. So... Two different energies here. Because this is like, I'm good, I'm solid, I'm grounded, I'm working on my own shit. So if you've been stressed out, lack of sleep over this, like stop worrying about it. Something's right around the corner. So to me, somebody already made their decision to move forward. Because she's not paying attention to any of this. Strength card. Yeah, so I, I don't, yeah, see, this is somebody who walked away, probably from like a third party, like wants nothing to do with it, already made that decision. Um, tell me about very soon. Well, that ton of, ton of wants, so that's like laying the weight down, but it's, it's like a challenge. Because somebody is fully aware that there's something beautiful here, and somebody's just like, not acting that the emperor's just sitting there so i don't know if you turned your back and got really cold 
okay? But you're going to have to make a practical decision, especially if you're still holding on. Um, yeah, so it's basically telling me it's, it's like over. Like this is somebody who who sees something. Unless you're dealing with a... Um, a Leo, but this is, this is clarity. This is, this is, I'm not taking no bullshit. Like if something doesn't come her way, opportunities real soon, this is a, a, a huge loss. This, this energy is not good. You know, um, this is somebody who is like, yeah, I'll take a leap of faith, you know, and open a new chapter. But see, is with the five of wands, I mean, the five of swords, like, Everybody loses. Like, so she put her sword up. She's not, this is somebody who doesn't tolerate bullshit. Excuses. Like, she's not, she's not having it. So she looks like you're about to already lay the weight down. But it is a challenge. So some of you laid it down already and others of you, you're just giving it a little more time. I don't know what you're doing. Let your friends help you. So this is somebody's thinking you or her. This is somebody's like, no, this is shady as shit. Bad influences. Yeah, keeping you stuck in the past. This masculine energy. You're dealing with somebody who's extremely detached and probably all they do is work, 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 work. Okay. So there's there's nobody helping in a good way here. All right. This is somebody who would rather concentrate on this as if it was a loss. And the, the, it's not a loss. So this is somebody who's still dealing with family situations and dynamics. So this is either the, the wife or the husband that's like keeping somebody in this energy. You know, um, and it, it could be from, from money reasons, stability, anything like that. Um, it doesn't look like they're getting the love from him, but that's regardless of, a, of the situation. You know, it's, it's time to move away from something like that. So this is somebody who, in their environment, that is just not good. And again, it could be a Leo. And again, another card of Leo. That's why I said if you're a newbie this week, go watch Leo and Aries. It, but last week, Sag happened to be in it. Now you're coming in as the high priestess or water. This is also having the strength to, to pull through and get out of a situation. But see, this is somebody who's just concentrated on them work. It, it's like it distracts, them. it distracts them. Like this is somebody who's very detached. Um, and they're dealing with somebody from their past. It's the five of cups, you, you choose, you choose that, you know, stop sleeping too much. Wake up, you're missing out on shit. This is somebody who's focused. You got a masculine focus on the past and the pain, you know, then being like, I got this. So I don't know if like they're awakened to this or not. You know, it looks like they clearly know. Maybe they're doubting it, want all the answers. Like, who knows? But this is somebody who's straight up focused on hurting somebody else that they were in some type of legal binding with or, or still are, but not worried about their own happiness, their own stability, their own love, their own feelings. You know what I'm saying? Um, and stop letting your ego get in the way. You know, vulnerability is hot as fuck, but you're dealing with somebody detached. So there's that unrequited love so this is a situation where there's a marriage or a partnership and it's it's one-sided it's just it is what it is somebody still doesn't want to hurt somebody else but yet you're taken away from your own happiness yeah see it's that's it it's it's over it's time to go in a new direction there's no going back from this like there's not this type of marriage, there's there's probably family and children involved with the Ten of Cups being here, but it's it's bickering, it's arguing, it's it's a loss. Somebody wanted to win at all costs type energy, but the world is here, like it's it's over. There's there's not mutual love, okay? But clearly they have a family. Clearly they still care about each other, but it, it's not enough and it's not love. All right, but somebody is at their crossroads, but refuses 
Yeah, see, it's like the emperor staring right up at the emperor. The emperor is refusing to open the door because they know all shit will fucking crash and burn. So this is somebody, yeah, in a toxic situation that doesn't want to deal with judgment, pretty much. This is, it's, this is like petty energy. This is... I'm struggling, but I'm this is I'm choosing to struggle. This is somebody looking at the past pain instead of clearly knowing there's something right in front of them. It's it's kind of arrogant. You know, this this pain doesn't even exist. Like it exists, but it's it's past if that makes sense. It's past pain. Dwelling on past pain, hanging out with the wrong people, letting other people tell you what you should do or what they think of somebody else. Maybe somebody doesn't like that somebody's spiritual. And here it's like getting to know each other. That's the possible outcome. So it's almost like someone's kind of like, I don't know if it's hoping or not, but someone's like, what is this? Nine of Pence, pretty confident. Eight of Swords, and then the Prince of Wands. So the Prince of Wands wants to come in to somebody who holds their self at very high standards, morals, independent, um, the, the nine of pence represents beauty, you know, um, wants to kind of can't stop thinking about this energy, you know, makes them happy. So hopefully they do something to, to fix the situation, but this doesn't, this doesn't look great. This is just somebody who wants to come in because they're feeling like, oh, I can't get this person off my mind. What am I going to do? Um, how do I fix this? But yet, this is a, a big challenge. Yeah, see, there's, there's still too many people in the picture. There's someone, you have an energy here that might block this energy coming up real soon. Because the High Priestess and the Nine of Pence would not even mess with this energy. You know, um... Is about to put some boundaries, some strong boundaries up. And this is what you don't see coming. So it looks like there's a family situation ending. It doesn't look like anything's quite being exposed yet. But holy moly. All right. Um, I'll, do, I'll do more in the extended. It's just... This is... Nothing's happening. This is somebody dwelling... Focused on, you know, the past, not taking any action to do anything. This is how does somebody, how does this person feel about me? Um, you know, I'm stressed. It's, it's just, it's a whole lot of, you know, I really want to get to know this energy, but n no, you don't. You're too focused on partying and you're trapped. You're feeling trapped in the past, but you're not trapped. You can get yourself out of this energy. It's mental energy, you know? Um, there was something else I just saw, too. Hmm. Just went away. So... Obviously, you know, it's it's not it's not good. I know I crossed the line with you. I want to be more than friends. You know, I'm afraid to contact you. So somebody's intimidated because they're dealing with the Queen of Swords energy right now, not having it. And I don't I don't blame you. It this is you know, somebody is really hiding how they feel. This is somebody who's like, I'm okay when they're not okay. This is somebody who acts not interested but is extremely interested. Okay, you're dealing with somebody who does not like to be vulnerable, does not like to open up. But it, it's just, it's, it's, this doesn't cut it for anybody in this situation. It's just, it's not enough. So you're going to have to make decisions um, on, on what's next for, for you, honestly, because you can't stay in this. There's nothing happy. There's nothing positive here. What, there's love? Well, nobody's doing anything about it. 
They're dwelling on the past. They're worried about how somebody else is going to feel, putting somebody on hold, you know, feeding too many energies at one time, not speaking up, not telling the truth, not getting themselves out of situations, not laying the weight down, not moving forward. It's, it's sad. It's a sad scenario because there's something, there's, there's something pure here. Yeah, see, this is, this is moving away. This is, this is a card of triumphant energy in the Cancer is letting the past go and moving forward. So this could be working out. This could be working together. But see, it, there's still no action. You still have energy holding back. This is somebody who likes to stay stuck, somebody who likes to stay in the crossroads, somebody who just doesn't want to make decisions unless it has to do with their own shit, you know, and, and not when it comes to emotions, that's for sure. So this is somebody is moving away from it. Yeah, see, they're going to block this connection. Block This is somebody who missed an opportunity for something real and pure because they were focused on past pain and how somebody else was going to feel. It's it's very unfortunate. This literally is like a missed opportunity. And I'm telling you, some of you guys might be upset right now, but but don't be. Don't be. You, you didn't, this is not a loss. If, if somebody's going to feed other people and keep you on hold and not tell you what's really happening and get you to this energy where you have to be cold and turn your back, then that problem is on them, not you. They created this mess. I'll see you on Patreon. Love you guys. Bye.